Hello and welcome to the tutorial how to create an animated card with shader sprite and CCG kit. In this tutorial, we will also use the artworks dwarf from Critical Hit. Let's create our shader. First, we need to set up the artwork into sprites. Use your favorite software to split the artwork. Now we can start creating our shader. We need to create a material into the project. Share the created material to use your own material and create the shader of sprite shader. Add the shader into the material like this. and the material to your sprite renderer for a live preview. Great, the material and the shader are set up. Let's create our first node, the build shader. Link the created shader to the build shader. Now, the shader will be automatically saved. We need to use the two artworks, the background and the dwarf. Right click, go to initialize and select new texture. Right click on the new texture node and select duplicate. Drag and drop the background and the dwarf textures. Now we need to blend the two sprites into one with blend. Select blend. Connect the RGB output from the background to the first input of the blend node. Connect the dwarf new texture to the second blend input, like this. Now, connect the output from blend to the build shader. Now the two sprites is set up into the final result. Let's add the fire effect over the two axes of the dwarf. Right click, RGB, generate, effects, and select fire. This node will generate a fire effect. To have a preview of this node, right click and add a preview. The fire generate a black and white fire effect. So, let's add some colors. Right click, RGB, gradient, and select permade colors. Connect the fire node to the permade node. When we add a preview we can saw the color is now added. Let's change the offset for a better result like this. Now let's connect the dwarfs and the fire effect. Right click, RGB, with two RGB and add addition. Connect the dwarf with the first input of the addition node. And the permade color to the second addition node. Next. Connect the addition output to the second input of the blend node like this. As you can see, the fire is over the dwarf. Let's add a circle fade node on it. Right click, RGB, FX and select circle fade FX. Connect the permade colors to the circle fade FX and connect the circle fade node to the second input of the addition node. Now the fire effect have a smooth effect. Let's create a zoom UV and position the fire effect right on the two axes. Right click, UV, FX UV, and select zoom UV. Connect the zoom node to the general fire node. and the zoom UV node to the circle fit FX. Change the red parameters to set the fire right over the two axes. Now, we will add a great distortion effect on the dwarf that follow the fire movement. Right click. UV, FX UV and select Displacement UV. For that, we will need to use Source New Texture instead of New Texture. Right click, Initialize and select Source New Texture. Drag and drop the Dwarf Sprite to the Source New Texture node. Connect the Source to the Source Input of the Displacement UV node and the Output to the First Input of the Addition node. Delete the Unused node. Now, connect the circle fit output to the RGB input of the displacement UV. Select the right distortion value.
OK, now, we will add a great energy distortion between the background and the dwarf. Create or duplicate a source new texture and drag and drop the back texture. Duplicate the displacement UV node and connect the source of the source new texture to the source input of the displacement UV node. Connect the displacement UV output to the first input of the blend node. Now we need an RGB input to create the distortion. For that, we will use the Voronoid node. Right click, RGB, Generate, Effects and select Voronoid. Connect the Voronoid node to the RGB input of the Displacement node. Now we will use an animated UV to add motion on the distortion. Right click, UV, Animated and select Animated Twist UV. Connect the UV to the Voronoid UV. And select the right parameters. Now to finalize the shader, we will add a nice zoom in and out UV effect. Right click, UV, FX and select animated zoom UV. Connect the animated zoom UV to the zoom UV node and also, to the displacement UV node like this. Select the right parameters for a better result. Let's play the result in full screen. This dwarf looks incredible and powerful now. Thanks for watching.